me Sylvia back with another video and as you can see I've got a new little setup going on here I thought I'd try it out for this fun rainbow themed video you probably saw this coming if you watched my previous video I mentioned my new equipment I hope you guys like it I know I do I love it so much but let's get right into the video today I'm gonna be testing out a really really cool looking but kind of weird face mask now I think everybody my eyelash is stuck to my bottom lashes okay better. I think everybody loves a good peel off face mask, especially if it gets all the gunk out of your pores. I mean, who doesn't like that? It's oddly satisfying to watch. And if you're doing it on yourself, I mean, you just feel cleaner and more hygienic after. So when I saw this like rainbow face mask going around and it was a peel off mask, I was like, okay, I have to try it. And then I saw what it was made of and I was just even more intrigued. So basically the two ingredients are glue and paint. Yes, people, you heard me right. Now, I wasn't that surprised because I did do a previous video using glue and activated charcoal mixed together and it works pretty well. I will leave an info card over here if you guys wanna watch it after the video. But when I saw it in like rainbow form, I had to try it myself and test it out for you guys to see if it worked. But of course, I have to add a disclaimer. I mean, I don't really know what this stuff does to your face. I'm not a dermatologist. So that's my disclaimer. If you try this out and something happens to your face, it wasn't me, I'm sorry. Just take precautions, okay? Just realize we're putting glue on our face. It is what it is. So let's try it out, I'm really excited. So hit the like button because it should be a lot of fun. And of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I drop three videos, I can't even do three videos a week now. So if you wanna see those, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And without further ado, let's get on with this craziness. So apparently all we have to use is the Elmer's school glue and it's non-toxic. So that's extremely important because you know, you don't wanna be putting some toxic stuff in your body, but I don't know if I still trust that. Like that's still questionable. And apparently all you need to mix with it is some paint but I got the washable kids paint to make sure that it doesn't stain my face and that it'll easily come off you know I think this is more just to like give it some color because you want it to look like a rainbow but other than that I don't think it really does much else for you so I don't know how this is gonna get out my blackheads but let's see and then I'm gonna mix the two together on a plate so basically all you're supposed to do now is just mix the glue with the paint so I'm gonna make six little sections on the plate so I can mix the colors without the mixing together I feel like that's a lot but uh, you know we're gonna go with it so this is really easy you can see that basically all you have to do is just mix the paint with the glue and you can make whatever color you want so let's give it a try I basically just have to put it on like a regular mask but I'm gonna go in with each different color and make it kind of like a rainbow so you can get that cool rainbow effect that you've been seeing around the internet and you know it'll just be cooler than a regular mask so let's get started with which color red I'm gonna try and go the exact color of the rainbow I should probably put a headband in headband assistant assistant all right, I don't have one of those. Hi, I'm Sylvia and I'm 12 years old. That's what that says right there. So I'm gonna put it all over my face, even though I know for a fact this is going It just spilled. Good thing it's washable. I think we can say that this is a very messy mask. I mean, I've already got it everywhere in a span of 10 seconds. I'm gonna try and not get it on my hair because it is glue. So, you know, taking off this mask is gonna be pretty painful. I'm assuming. No, I know it's gonna be painful because the last charcoal mask that I did with glue was very painful to take off. So I don't know why I'm doing this again. It's for you guys. I'm testing this out for you. Next up is orange. If you know the colors of the rainbow, Roy G. Biv people, Roy G. Biv. So I'm guessing I have to kind of overlap it just a little bit so then they stick to each other. Okay, I'm mixing up the colors. I'm mixing up the colors. This definitely isn't looking as good as I thought wanted it to, but um, I'm gonna really make sure to get a nice thick layer so it can all come off in one piece hopefully because that is the most satisfying feeling. Ah, it's on my eyebrow. I'm gonna rip my eyebrow off. Trying to make this like rainbow design is really difficult. I thought it'd be easier than this, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of struggling. I've gotten it in like seven different areas where I have hair, so that's not gonna be good. I have to sneeze. No, it's gonna ruin the colors. It's gonna ruin the colors. Don't sneeze. Wow, it actually went away. That's like sneezing when you have mascara on, but sneezing when you're trying to do your rainbow mask. I mean, come on, why? How do I look so far? It's on my lip. It's on my lip. Say goodbye, lip. You won't survive this. Ah, it's dripping off my nose. Do you see that? Oh God. Time to time lapse this a little bit.
I'm finally done. That took so long. This side of my face is like already dry almost, but the rest is still pretty wet, especially the middle part of my face. I have to touch it up a little bit, but honestly, it just kind of feels and looks like paint. Maybe there wasn't enough like glue to paint ratio. I don't know, but this can't be good for your skin. I mean, paint? Really? It's washable and non-toxic, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I definitely look cool. This is such a fabulous face mask. I mean, look at me, I'm a rainbow. I look amazing, but I don't know. I'm excited to see what it does for my skin and for my pores and blackheads and see if it actually takes stuff out. It took a long time to apply this. So far, it's not very practical. I'm just gonna tell you that. But I think I did a good job of like layering the colors on top of each other so then I can take it all off at once. That is the main goal. I don't know how it's gonna come off. We're gonna see. Do you guys like my face artwork here? Let me know if you get a kick out of this look. Let's wait for this to dry and then we're gonna peel this off. I'm not looking forward to it because it's probably gonna hurt, but we'll see. So I'll get back to you guys in a second. Okay, you guys, so it's completely dry. Oh my God, that took so long. I'm so impatient, but it, it did take longer than a normal mask. I think to air dry, it would probably take like 30 minutes, but because I was so impatient, I did use a blow dryer. I cheated, I admit, but you know what? When you got a patience level as low as mine, you just gotta do what you gotta do. But now it's completely dry. You'd see it did crack in some areas because I ate some chips. I was hungry, so I had to eat chips. It took so long and it's kind of flaking off. Like it looks really, really crusty and disgusting. And it smelled really bad the entire time I was drying. Like it smelled like glue and paint. What do you expect? It feels like it hurts when I move my face around because I can feel the little hairs being pulled out. I have a lot of peach fuzz, you guys. Don't judge me, I just do. Oh, I was right, it hurts. So now let's start to peel it off and see if I can get the entire thing off in one go. Oh, geez, deep breath, Sylvia. You did all that work of putting it on your face and creating this rainbow mask, like you can do this. This is my pep talk. Oh, you see my hairs? It's ripping everything out. I can't do it, I can't do it. Let me try and loosen it up a bit. Oh, my eyes are watering. Maybe just try it on your nose if you try this yourself. Cause it is meant to be one of those like blackhead removing nose strips type of thing. I just went all out and did my entire face cause I wanted to make this cool rainbow mask. But you know, if you don't want it to be as painful, just try it in the areas where you have the largest pores. Then you won't have to go through this pain. Ah! Well, I'm crying cause my body is just having a natural reaction to this death that's going on. I can't even grip it. I'm gripping my own skin. I'm pinching myself. Oh! Why do I have so much facial hair? Beauty is pain, beauty is pain, beauty is pain, beauty is pain. I need a break, I need a break. I tried to rip it off like a band-aid. It didn't help. This is worse than waxing. After all this, like my face better be so smooth. It better be ripping out all of those little baby hairs. So if I'm going through this pain for nothing, Good progress. I feel like the cheeks are the most painful part. Okay, okay. Okay, let's do the nose because this is where all the blackheads are. I hope it works. Ah! So close! Who does this? Who does this? literally hanging off by a thread and that thread is my hair do you see my skin do you see this Ew. that's very attractive use this mask you'll look as attractive as I do I tried to do it all at once but it was far too painful you can see on the edge here it has a bunch of the hair so basically this is the inside of the mask where it was on my nose you can see like the slightest bit of like blackheads there's one right there and right up there so that's a better shot. You can see some of the blackheads that it took out. All that. This is so disgusting and up close and personal, but that's a blackhead, all those. And you can see all the little dots are like the hairs that were on my nose. So it did take out some stuff, but I don't think it worked as well 
as the black charcoal mask that I did in a previous video and it's not quite as good as the regular nose peels that you can find at like the drugstore and it hurts just way more. Next time I'm definitely gonna just try it on my nose. So after testing out that rainbow peel off pore mask, I can give you guys my thoughts, you know, if I thought it was a good mask, like worth your time or you should just laugh at it and really not try it out yourself. It's a little bit of both. I mean, I think it did work. I might do without the paint. I feel like it smelled really, really bad, but the glue, the glue does a good job and it's, it says it's non-toxic, so I think I'm gonna try it out a couple more times, just without all the paint and without trying to make it into some intricate masterpiece on my face, because that just took way too long. I'm telling you, I just lost my patience. And as for my face after taking the mask off, it did sting a little bit because it hurt so badly to peel that thing off, but my face did feel a little bit smoother. It's probably because it did rip out so many of the hairs on my cheeks. Other than that, it was a really fun little beauty hack to try out, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up down below. And if you lasted through the entire video and you're not yet subscribed to me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and join the S Club. We would love to have you a part of the family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Without further ado.